Hi there! Today we'll make this little octopus. This is a perfect little project to make like in no time. You can use all your scrap yarn. You can make them in different colors and sizes like this one. I used two threads of the same yarn and it made it just a little bit bigger than using one thread of a four weight yarn. And you can add eyes or you can embroider eyes if you don't have those plastic safety eyes. You can add them as charms to your bags and backpacks or make them into a keychain. We'll make a keychain today. You can make them for different occasions like this one for Halloween. This one can be for Easter and for Christmas. So you can even name them and you can make a little collection with them. So let's get started. You'll find all the supplies in the description below. I don't want to waste your time now. We will start with magic ring. Grab the tail of your working yarn and wrap it around your middle finger. Bring it to the front of your working yarn so they crisscross. Now insert your hook under the tail, grab your working yarn, draw a loop and do one chain here. And then in the magic ring we will do six single crochets. And I'm using a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook even though my yarn is four weight and the recommended crochet hook size is 5.5. And now we can tighten our magic ring here. We'll get our marker so we know where is the beginning. So each stitch will get two single crochets. One, two into the first stitch, two single crochet into the next stitch. And then from six we'll end up with 12 single crochets. And I'll meet you at the end. So we will go back and we will use that tail to put our keychain in. So we'll grab the tail through the little hole here at the beginning and we'll make sure we do tighten that magic ring here so we don't have a hole and put our keychain through there and then we'll go back through that hole and this tail we will use to secure our keychain. So grab a stitch and through that stitch make chain with your tail. This way you secured your magic ring, you secured your keychain and you can keep that tail a little bit longer so you have more threads to work with but it's already now. So there we have the keychain attached and we'll keep going. The next row will be increasing every other stitch for a total of 18 stitches. So we'll get our marker under our hook and the first stitch will get two single crochets and the next stitch will get one single crochet and the next stitch will have two single crochets and then one single crochet to the next stitch and we'll keep repeating that till the end of the round which is a six repeats and I'll meet you there. Row number four will start with an increase so we'll have two single crochets into that first stitch and then we're gonna have one single crochet into the next stitch and then one single crochet into the next stitch. So we have an increase and then single crochet and a single crochet. So here's the first increase and then we have a single crochet to the next stitch and in the next stitch we have a single crochet. So every third stitch will be increasing for a total of 24 stitches at the end of the round and I'll meet you there. For rows 5, 6, 7 and 8 we'll be going in a continuous spiral so we're not going to be increasing, we'll, every stitch will have only one single crochet so we'll repeat those 24 stitches for the next 5, 6, 7 and 8 rows and I will be using my marker to count those rows only and I'll meet you when I'm done with those rows. Pick your eyes and their bags and now we'll put them on our little octopus. So find your spot between rows 4 and 5 and let's put them there. And about 3 stitches apart or however they look cute to you. 
try to go in between the stitches. Get your lighter. And I'm using the back of a knitting needle to flatten the, the back of the eyes. And there. So here I'm ready with my rows five, six, seven, eight, and it's time to decrease. So we'll start in working into the back loops of our octopus. So we'll move our marker and we'll have one single crochet into the back loop, one single crochet into the back loop of the next stitch, and then we'll have a decrease. So we'll pick the back loops two at a time of the next two stitches. We'll make sure this working yarn is tight and then we'll have a single crochet there. And this is our first decrease. We'll do this six times so we'll have one single crochet, one single crochet, and then a decrease into the back loops. And I'll meet you right here. We can remove now this big marker and we can start stuffing. You can get a smaller marker like a piece of scrap yarn so you can still keep the track of the beginning of your row. And you can stuff it as much as you want. So I'll still put my marker here. So the next row of decreases will be one single crochet, one decrease. So here is my marker. And we do one single crochet. And here we don't have to work in the back loops anymore, just a regular one and one decrease. For the decrease, we're gonna grab the front loops of the next two stitches. We're gonna tighten that working yarn. And we're gonna do a single crochet through both of those loops. And we have that decrease. And then again, we have one single crochet and one decrease. And we'll repeat that till the end of the round. We will cut our yarn and we will close the gap with our needle. So grab your tapestry needle and now working through the front of the loops we'll be grabbing two loops at a time and we'll make sure we tighten that loop here. So we'll do this six times because we have 12 stitches here And then go one more time through all these stitches so your stitches are nice and secure. So now we'll get our yarn again and we'll go through the back. Now that we have those loops that are still showing from that row that we worked into the back loops, we're gonna start, any, any one of them is fine. And we'll do a little slip knot here. Again, we want those stitches to be pretty secure and then you draw your loop there. And the tail, you will also will go inside the octopus and then you chain three. Going back into the same loop, we'll do three double crochets, but we're not gonna finish them. We'll do three double crochets, crochets together. So one, two, three. So we have four loops. One is from the chain and then three from the double crochets. Now we're gonna crochet three of them together and we'll go into the third loop, skipping two from the one that we have, and we'll do a slip stitch here. And you will push your little popcorn stitch up so it can look like the foot of the octopus. Then we're gonna chain three again, and we'll do three double crochets, crochet together. Now crochet them together, skip, two loops and into the third loop you do a slip stitch and you keep doing those popcorn stitches all the way around you should have eight because we had 24 stitches we're skipping two working to the third one the math should do its work and I'll meet when I'm done and there we are all done with this little guy and now again hide my tail inside 
your amigurumi. And if you hold your yarn two strands just like this, you will get a size bigger. So if you hold your yarn just one thread and it's a four weight yarn, that's how big it gets. And it depends so much on the brand of yarn you use and the colors you use. So you can have your whole army of little octopi just like that. Thanks for watching. Subscribe.